Good morning. Thank you for joining me at Stamping 411. This is Kathy Bakken, an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! And this morning I'd like to show you some of Stampin' Up!'s new products from the holiday catalog. Look at this a lovely stamp set. It's called Dashing Dare. Beautiful stamps of the actual deer and lovely sentiments would make great holiday cards. And here we have some shimmer mist in champagne and in bright copper. And we are going to use the shimmer mist on our actual stamps. The main thing that you have to remember with shimmer mist is think of it as being as a paint, a permanent paint. So we want to be careful with our work surface and also with our stamps and anything that we use to apply the shimmer mist to the stamps. We're going to use sponge daubers today. We're also going to use the stamp apparatus. If you haven't tried this, you have no idea what you're missing out of on. I've previously aligned this on my paper. I'm going to put the magnet down to hold the paper in place. And I'm going to use a sponge dauber to apply the shimmer mist to my stamp. Now inside the bottle of shimmer mist there is a little ball bearing that basically keeps things from clumping. That's normal. It's a good idea to shake it up a little bit before you use it. And the nice thing about the sponge daubers is they actually fit right inside the opening. You just have to be a little careful. You want to make sure you've got a good seal. Shake it a little bit. you got some on your sponge dauber. And then you want to daub it on your stamp. such a proud and regal deer. This is just absolutely beautiful. Voila! That looks pretty good, but I think I was a little stingy on the shimmer mist, so I'm going to apply a little bit more. especially around the center of the body. And the nice thing about using the Stamparatus is I could re-ink and stamp again to catch any areas that I missed previously without having to try and realign my stamp. My stamp is held in place. I'm sorry, my paper is held in place by the magnet. There we go. How beautiful is this? Kind of late light on the crumb cake. Let's try it on something a little bit darker. How about cherry cobbler? Reapply the shimmer mist. This is champagne, by the way to my dauber and re-ink my stamp. Oops, looks like I was a little heavy-handed this time around. Let's see if I could pick some of that up back with a sponge so it's not drippy. When I use shimmer paint on a stamp, I make sure that I use extra care in cleaning the stamp afterwards. I actually will take a toothbrush and clean the stamp gently with water. I don't use it on my Stampin' Chamois because it's paint. Oh my, look at this. Dramatic. And finally, I want to try it on the Rich Razzleberry.
As long as I work quickly and keep reapplying the shimmer mist, it's not drying on my stamp. So I want to get as many completed as possible before I need to clean it and before it has a chance to dry. Wow, how cool is that? Let's check out the Copper Shimmer Mist. Notice I have some washi tape around my magnet. makes it easier for me to lift up. Now I haven't washed my stamp, but I'm going to quickly apply the Copper Shimmer Mist while the champagne is a little bit moist on the stamp as of yet. This is fine as long as I do it quickly before it cakes. And being that I'll wash the sponge daubers, I'm not really concerned about mixing it in with the actual paint. Okay, you have everything covered here? Wow. Pretty nice, but I think I missed a little bit of the underbelly. I'll give it another sprinkle. Restamp. Wow, the copper looks nice on the crumb cake, doesn't it? It's such a lovely stamp. copper on the cherry cobbler. Be careful to make sure that the sponge of the dauber is fully in the opening of the shimmer mist container before you shake it up. Otherwise you might end up wearing some of it. Ask me how I know that. Been there, done that. You might also want to wear gloves. How pretty. And finally, let's try it on some Blackberry Bliss. I'm starting to apply the shimmer mist on the body of the deer first, just in case there's any drips. More area, more surface area to apply to. I think that looks good. Let's check it out. Oh my. Okay, this is pretty good, except I obviously missed a little bit on the ear, so I'm going to go back and re-ink that, and it looks like the front legs are a little bit light. Let's try catching that again. Beautiful. 
I think I like the copper on the Blackberry Bliss the most. What do you think? Well, I think the bright copper on the Blackberry Bliss is the sure winner. I think this is a very pretty card. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to add a sentiment to the front or not. Um, just a quick note about cleaning your stamps. I do not run the stamp under water. I use warm water and a moistened toothbrush to scrub the shimmer mist, to gently scrub the shimmer mist off of it. Um, and then I dry it with either a baby wipe or uh, a paper towel. Again, I'm not using my stamp and chamois just because I don't want the paint on it. Um, <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by today. If you need a current holiday or annual catalog, feel free to stop by my blog at www.stamping411.com and just um, click on where it says send me a catalog. Thank you.